But we want to begin with that breaking news. A new study just released by Northwestern University could challenge what we thought we knew about coronavirus. I am joined by Professor Thomas McDade. He is one of the lead researchers. Good morning to you. Good to have you on this morning. Wow, it looks like two big findings in this report that uh, we're hearing about now, and they relate to people who have already had COVID and when vaccine protection can start to fade. So tell me what you learned from this. Yeah, well, good morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me the chance to share the results from our study. Um, you know, the best way to determine the effectiveness of the vaccine is to give it to large numbers of people and, and you know, hopefully show that it's effective at preventing disease. Uh, and we've done it with the, with the clinical trials, but the landscape has changed a bit with the emerging variants. And so we can test with a blood sample a person's antibody response to the vaccination and how effective those antibodies are at preventing uh, breakthrough infection. And that's effectively what we did in this study. We found two important things. One is that over time, the antibody levels in our samples go down. Um, and that's not a big surprise, but they do go down about 20%, about two months after the second dose of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Um, and then we also found, which is a bit of a surprise, is that prior exposure to COVID didn't necessarily boost your antibody response. There are a lot of people who have mild or asymptomatic cases of COVID-19. And for those people, two doses of the vaccine are essential to getting to that high level of protection. Um, and that was a bit of a surprise. That is a surprise because I have spoken to people who said, you know, I had COVID, so I didn't get the vaccine because I already had the antibodies. Early on during this, we were hearing that people who had COVID, that they had a great immune response to getting it again. So does your study say that that's basically not the case after all? Well, our study is, is, is showing that for people who had PCR confirmed uh, moderate to severe cases of COVID-19, they have a very strong response, an antibody response to that first dose of the vaccine. But the vast majority of people in Chicago and nationally have mild or asymptomatic cases. So even if you tested positive or took an antibody test that showed you had a prior exposure to COVID, if you did not have a moderate or severe case, you can't assume that you have a lot of antibodies and immune protection. And our study shows that two doses of vaccine are required for those people uh, with those mild or asymptomatic cases to get that level of protection up to where you want it to be. And, and that's I particularly important right now and with the variants because the vaccine is just not quite as effective against the variants. It's very good, protects us against hospitalization and severe disease, but it's not quite as good um, as the original as protection against the original version of the virus. So those two doses are really essential. And I think that's important to reiterate because most people would say, well, of course, two doses are important because that's what we all learned. But a lot of people who had the vaccine went and got their first dose and they said they had an extreme reaction to it as if they had COVID again because they had already had COVID. And a lot of uh, research was saying, well, maybe those people don't need a second vaccine, but your vaccine is saying, you, your study is saying you do need that second vaccine. Yeah, and there's a lot of variation in responses to the vaccine. There, there are a lot of people who were never exposed to COVID who had strong responses to the first or second dose, and a lot of people who were exposed to COVID who didn't react strongly to the vaccine. So um, I, I don't think that's the best predictor of, of your response to the vaccine. Um, and I, I do think that for the vast majority of people, those two doses are going to be essential to provide the level of protection that you're going to want and need against uh, reinfection or so breakthrough infection. And with everything you've learned then, let's talk about, especially with the Delta variant, uh, does this make a booster shot seem even more urgent now that you've learned what you've learned? Uh, well, yes and no. I do think for people who are immunocompromised or uh, you know, may not have uh, developed a very strong immune response to those two doses of the current vaccines, I think there's a strong case to be made for, for boosters for those individuals. But for the general public, I think we're all, we'll all be in a much better place if we focus on giving first doses into more unvaccinated arms than third doses in people who are already vaccinated. That will reduce the spread in the community, the likelihood that anyone is exposed to the virus. And that, that's gonna be the best way out. Okay, that's the take home. Dr. Thomas McDade, Northwestern, thank you again. Your findings very interesting. And I think people who have had uh, COVID before, and this is something that they need to hear because this is surprising information, as you said, in one aspect. So we appreciate your time. Have a thank good you. day.